Hey guys, today it's the 2nd of July, so it's time to do an update for the month of June. So, two months ago, the, at the end of May, I bought this Balfourin knee support. And I've tested it out the whole month of June and it has been really great. I not only use it for training, but I also use this for running and also sometimes long distance walking because I did travel last month. For walking, it's more of just a precaution in case I slip or something. But for running, with this, it gives me a lot more confidence. So I get to push myself just a bit more. Okay, so let's get to the things that went through this month. Okay, before that, a little bit more on the knee support. I want to show you this video of me doing a squat with and without the knee support. I'm not exaggerating it, but... When I use the knee support, I can go deeper with less pain. And the physio that looks at me when I do this says that my body shivers less when I'm using the knee support. Actually, I even brought it up to the doctor during my follow-up. And after my visit, he called me and I was wondering what's happening. He wanted to recommend it to his other patient. Just a side note, uh, Balfourin does more than just knee supports. If I'm not mistaken, I've seen their ankle support and I think shoulder maybe. I'll put links to where you can find their products at the description box. Some new exercises that I started doing this month, I mean last month, are such as lunges with a ball at the front. It's to put a bit more effort into my balance, not just the strengthening of the muscles. And then there was a lot of work on single leg exercises. This is just me playing with a ball. I did some shuffling side to side. This was uh, building up the strength to eventually get to jumping. And then we had the Ryu holidays here. So I spent a bit of time in Sabah. So I brought my knee support over because I knew I'd be walking a lot. And also I managed to do two runs. Well, actually one actual run really slow and another one I'm about to show you I ran on the beach and this was the drone tracking us from afar it was really nice and it's quite a well-known fact that running on the sand is actually good to build up lots of strength in your ankles and knees if I'm not mistaken something I should have done more so from that event I gained more confidence to try an outdoor run. So I came back and I started with a 1km run, just testing the waters out, seeing how it goes. The following week, I upped it up to 2km and in the same week, I went all out back to my 3km. I used to do 3km runs like maybe 2 to 3 times a week and then 5km or more. So being able to hit 3km again was really good. Um, the pace is around six, seven, eight, but you know, you gotta start somewhere. I'm coming back from a long time of not running. In terms of knee stability, everything feels great. Obviously, I'm with the knee support and yeah, it just feels stable and okay, but I'm not gonna push it that hard at the moment because the full recovery is about six to 10 months and now it's about four months in. So I'll probably still take it slow and just build up my stamina again. So towards the last two weeks of the month, we started doing pretty much the same exercises like shuffling side to side, but it got more intensive um, or maybe they spread it out the cones further so I had to jump more. Also during last month's visit, um, the doctor cleared me for endurance activity, but endurance to the physio meant putting me on the treadmill for 20 minutes at a speed of 4 to 5, which is walking. So that's pretty much pointless because I run outdoors much faster and for much longer. So these are just some extra footage of exercises that I do. The lunges got heavier, I had to do them. The normal lunges and also in reverse. Hamstring curls, I've been doing them at the gym as well but I gotta put more emphasis on this because my hamstring is not that strong obviously and in fact it is kind of sore and it has been for over a week now because of all the jumping exercises. I probably just sprained it a bit but yeah, it's just part of the process. 
And lastly, I started doing single leg hops. We started with really small uh, jumps, forward obviously, and eventually it got further and further apart. This was the only exercise that was problematic for me, not because it was difficult, but because of the trauma in your head from what has happened leading up to the injury. So I'm quite sure I can jump further or as far as they need me to, but in my head, I'm just a bit scared. And also at the physio, I don't use this. I only use this when I'm on my own in case something happens. So jumping, pushing yourself out and then landing on one foot, especially the foot that is the one recovering, is a bit scary because until you feel your ligament tear and you feel the instability in your leg when you step and your bones are sliding off, you will not know the fear that I have doing uh, this, this exercise so far. So that's pretty much it for what has happened in the month of June. I'm so happy that I'm starting to run again. 1km, 2km and finally 3km. So I'm going to start doing more 3km runs. I don't think I'm going to up my pace that much. I just got to maintain and build up the strength. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope it's not been too long. And I will see you guys for the next update next month.